Hey, it's Anthony Allen Ramos from Glad. Nice to see you both. Uh, T.S. Madison, let me start with you. Yes, because I want to ask you some questions too, Anthony. That's right, I'm here. Uh, but congratulations on this. But let me tell you, have you thought about this film being, you know, the first of its kind, what it would have been like for you to see something like this back when you were growing up and maybe, you know, figuring out who you were? Uh, to be honest with you, if I would have seen something like this back when I was growing up, I would have definitely uh, been more optimistic about love. Mm -hmm. um, because all the experiences that I've had thus far, you know, from back in the day, um, you know, I didn't see love. I didn't see, you know, like a love story being, you know, glamorized or publicized on such a on such a large platform. And for this to be happening in this state now that it's happening in, and for me to be a part of it is an amazing thing because even as I'm older now, I'm still having love epiphanies. Like I'm still, you know, growing and finding out more things about love and relationships that I, that I would have never thought um, back in the day. And we love a love epiphany. We all deserve love. Uh, <laughs> Miss Florence, for you, same question. Can you imagine seeing a film like this back in the day? What would that have meant for you? Um, it would have meant that um, I would have learned earlier that I have a rightful uh, place in this world and in film and television, right? That who I am would be celebrated and honored. Um, I wouldn't have had to, you know, lean to my own understanding or, you know, a wandering curiosity about what love would look like for me, you know? And so yep. I think, you know, had we had this type of point of reference back then, I'm an 80s baby, you know, it would have been a real game changer, as it is now, but, you know, I think we would have solved a lot of our um, social constructs and the, and the problems that we faced in social constructs um, earlier. Yeah. Madison, how did you sort of balance, you know, being excited for this opportunity, the first, you know, film of its kind, but then also wanting to do it right and not, you know, getting overtaken by the pressure to do so? Um. Well, you know, anytime <laughs> that I'm involved with a large project, I'm always trying to uh, uh, bring myself to it and also learn from it and see what I can teach, you know, you know, while I'm being involved in the project. Um, when I got the call uh, for the movie, I was just like, mm, okay. And then the pandemic happened. And then everything just vanished. Yeah. And then when I got the recall to say that, you know, we're coming back and, the, and we're shooting the movie, I was like, okay, let me bring my all to it. Um, and there's a lot of things that didn't make it in the movie that Lawrence and I did, but it was, it was such a great, it was such a great feeling that I know that it's gonna make the director's cut, honey, because it was a lie. <laughs> the blooper reel, Miss Lawrence, for you, what, you know, what is the, the one thing that you want people to take away after they see it? Obviously, it's very funny, it's very good, but there is an important takeaway from this. Yeah, it's quite a few of them. Um, the, the, the biggest one I want people to understand is that while this is an all LGBTQ cast, an all LGBTQ production um, that, that did it with some, some straight allies as well, um, it is a movie that is for our straight audience and our our LGBTQ audience. There are a lot of lot of teachable moments there. There's that story between um, Aaron and his mom and Bobby, with you know um, Bobby educating um, you know, um, Aaron's mom about our LGBTQ history and the importance of it and all of that kind of stuff. And what that does is it, it provides some type of clarity and it kind of dispels the narrative. Um, that parents don't know or are not willing to understand and learn about who we are as LGBTQ people. Um, that's a very big takeaway. Another big takeaway is showing what love looks like in gay relationships, in LGBTQ relationships, and that it takes the same amount of patience, the same amount of courage, the same amount of compassion as it does in our in straight relationships. Love is love, and I think um, I think the world will get will get to see that. This will be the ultimate point of reference uh, for people that have always questioned who we are as LGBTQ people. It's so nice to see you all. Congrats on the film. Doc, gotta start with you. I think about your amazing 30 plus year career on television. 
film and beyond to be getting to do this, please share with me. I mean, I can imagine it's all the feels. It is, it really is. It's um, like I've said before, it's to play the gay character a million times. Um, and it's usually just myself or maybe one other person, but the fact that all of us are together, the LGBTQ, and as I say, and the IA, and everybody's together in this one setting, not just, you know, maybe one episode, like on Glee, Ryan covered pretty much everybody, and which I think is fantastic, and or represented everybody, I should say. And the fact that we get to do, we got to do this all together, in one group was absolutely amazing. And yes, 31 years, and I never thought I'd see this, but thought I always should, you know? Yeah, absolutely. And we got a little Glee reference in there, not not to spoil it for anyone. Uh, Eve, let me come to you. I think seeing this film, such an important moment, you know, for a gay romance, but also such an important for trans, non-binary people. What do you hope that this moment means? And what are the next steps to ensure that we get to continue these stories and see more of this? Um, I just, I think that it's making more uh, films like this um, would probably be a good place to start. You know, we have every kind of, um, and not just um, in an LGBT way, but like we have all the different colors and body types and everything in this movie. It's a truly diverse film outside of being queer and um, that is so exciting to me. And I think, you know, it's like in the boardroom, it was like we were like earth, wind, water, fire, like kind of coming together from all of our-, our That's our uh, name of our group. Yeah. The very, cyclone. Yeah. Exactly. Like, well, let's um, talk about that group, Jim. I mean, those boardroom scenes are amazing. And I know they were like filmed fast and furiously. I mean, was it as fun as it looked for us to watch to film all that? It was a chore. <laughs> I got to be honest. No, it was. I mean, we did that 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 particular scene for three days. And and uh, because you sit in a circle, you're going to go around with a lot of coverage. And it was so playful and fun. We, we wanted to be together in the same uh, space. But that was kind of the vibe. You know, we shot everything that was on the page because uh, it was glorious material to be working with. And then we got to improvise. So you, you can't ask for a better situation. Uh, when uh, uh, when you're shooting for three days straight, basically three scenes, yeah. Uh, last question, Dot. What do you? The film is hilarious, and we know that. But also, I think there is takeaway. People yeah. need to see it and understand. What do you hope that audiences take away from Bros? I hope they take away a bunch, and I think that as far as like relationships, and you know, all relationships or every single relationship is different but there's those similarities that in a sense pull us together that we get, you know, cause we watched um, straight couples go through the rom-coms and I know we all pulled something from that, like, you know, that we could relate to it. And I think there are a lot of relatable moments, but I think more importantly is it's so damn funny getting there. But then on the flip coin, there's these heartfelt moments and um, I don't want to say give away anything, but Regardless of what you're, you are yourself, whether you're straight, gay, you know, LGBTQ, there's something there if you pay attention and hopefully get it. Absolutely. Well, cheers to all three of you. Thank you so much for the time. Just a reminder, everyone, bros will be in theaters on September 30th.